I think it's time to start talking about our projector and our AV equipment. So which one do you think we should start with? Let's start with the AV. Okay, so right behind me guys, I'll block the AV receiver and everything. We have our old Samsung receiver guys. I think it's about like eight years old guys, been a little old. I just put this here because I sold my PS4 and I sold my PS4 for $440 guys. You believe Oh that? yeah. Sold out and stuff. I was like, yo, might as well sell it, right? And sold just, a bunch of games with it, controllers, everything. Yeah. It was a pretty big bundle. But. So we went and we went and bought an Xbox One. <clears throat> but I didn't set plan on selling the PlayStation 4 to go buy an, buy an Xbox One, guys. Yep. I just ended up selling it because I was like, yo, someone's actually willing to pay me $440 for 500 gig. Might as well get rid of it because I bought it like almost six or seven years ago for $500. Mm -hmm. So I got my money back, $60 loss. And right here, our Blue Repair, like I was saying, that's why that got replaced. My brother just bought an Xbox One X, one terabyte. Last week, guys, because you know he started working and stuff, hustling hard. Again, that thing, he got this thing up. We got a couple games. That's why we got a bunch of games sitting up here. Call of Duty Black Ops, Assassin's Creed, guys. Oh, yeah. And you know what type of movies we're watching, guys. Goonies, Inside <laughs> Man, Alitos, guys. You know, Jimmy Neutron, guys. Some King of the Hill, some yeah, Black yeah. Panther. <laughs> Black Panther, you're At the bottom, we got our Yamaha receiver, guys. This right here, or I guess you give them a full back kind of zoom out of everything and just show them how everything's kind of looking. This is the entire AV receiver kind of thing going on. So like I said, originally that's our where I put my PC, guys. And back here, this is kind of got folded up with Blu-rays. This is our Marantz SR, I believe, 7013, guys. I think this thing Look was around... this thing. Got the freaking Wi-Fi antenna. Guys, this thing is pricey. This thing is around 3,500 Canadian. Uh, around, uh, what was it? What was that time? Let's see. Uh, October and August. August I bought this thing. Because I started building this thing in July and I ordered this thing uh, early August before my birthday, guys. And now, right now, it's on sale for I think three or four hundred dollars off. So it's at twenty nine hundred. Well, down here it looks like a VCR, like a retro yeah. style, right? Yeah, you can close it up and that's how it looks all modern. Sleek finish. And then you push this part right here, I think. And then it goes down and everything, which is really badass, guys. Yeah. This receiver is so savage. I was just wondering. It was on sale or which model it was. Uh, oh yeah, now I remember what I was remembering. This is not the 100% top of the line flagship model. Okay. On top of this is the SR something. Was it 80? 80, 12 or something. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the SR7013. This is just one tad bit under. That's what I was trying to remember. That was the one that was, I think, 3,800 or 3,900 at Best Buy. Mm -hmm. Reason we didn't go with that one because a couple hundred dollars more is that one was special order and that would have took me two, three weeks. Guys. All right, let's, kinda... let's take a look at the back. Yo, I'll show you guys the back, guys. This yeah. has got IMAX, our nine channel oh. lamp. You guys can see right here, 235 watts, 11.2 channel processing. So we're running preamp to this right here, to our old school Yamaha guys, our back in the day, the 90s Yamaha guys. Oh no, not the 90s one. This is the one from this is the this one is from the 2005 Realme. No, 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 era. 2008. 2008. 2008. Okay, okay. This is a 2008 Yamaha right here. The yeah. HTR 6180. Yeah, it's yeah. a 7.2. So we're running the rear Atmos channels with this one right here through preamp and stuff, and we control it via right here, and we have the remote and stuff. So I set it at about 15, and that keeps it decent and whatnot. And then moving over to the top, like I was saying. This is the one that's doing the main work, the badass, the hustling and buffling. This thing is savage, guys. Like It has everything you would want. Dolby Atmos, DTSX, Oro 3D, Hi-Res Audio, Odyssey, Odyssey LPC, Dolby Vision, ISF, Creston connected, Heos, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, has a dual antennas. I have my Amazon connected at the back and I'll give you guys if you guys want to see the back of this, make sure you guys check out my unboxing, my video and everything. I have unboxing on this too. And how am I... How am I powering this? Yeah. Guys, this is savage right here, okay? This is the what legendary is monster power. The signature series HTPS 7000, guys. This thing is a monster. This thing costs like almost as much as the receiver. This thing is like 2100 Canadian, guys. This thing is savage at its time. It's old right now, so it's like 2005 or around that time, if I'm not wrong. You got the signature series at the top, Noel Lee. You show them the signature and whatnot. I'll pull pull it out in the light. You guys can get a little bit better. Anything? Nice. And yeah, so it has all the cool. So this is things. signed by the professional audio people, right? Yep, and it has all the cool inputs and stuff on the back. And let me pull the receiver out a little bit if I can, just to give you guys a quick look. Here, you can come back here. You can come to the back and you can check it out. And there's all the top of the receiver. 
those are the connections of the Marantz right there. So we got our HDMI's and stuff, nothing too fancy, Amazon Fire Stick. And for the speaker wire guys, I'm not using banana plugs. I'm using the pile right here, 12 gauge, I 500 foot speaker wire guys. I already use at least 200 something feet. I wouldn't say 200, probably 180. Look at this thing, man. Around there, it's so savage. And then down there is, if I can give you guys some more light, I'll try. We got the monster power right there. So down here, you guys can see we got the plugs and everything right here. And you can just see how savage. Look at the cable. That's what's powering it. You're seeing the thickness of that, yep. the gauge? Yep. Look at the plug on the wall. Look at that, guys. It's savage. It's a huge chunk, and we got all the plugs and ports and everything, more than we would need. And I can run everything conditioned and balanced and everything. So I got the video filter, the audio filter, the digital filter, and the high power plugs that I plug in right there. And here you go, my brother can grab that. And then I have everything on wheels and I can just slide it right back and it just easy fits like so. And how easy is that to maintain? And these are all thanks to me and my brother. You guys can see these are not some regular racks. This one's Pioneer, as you can see from back in the day. Yeah. It's actually Pioneer. The Pioneer took, racks. Yeah, we had to modify them, right? We took the glass off of them and everything, so everything can fit. That way it's kind of like a server rack. Yep. This thing right here at the bottom, guys, that thing weighs about like 50, 60 pounds. If yeah, I'm wrong. this thing is really heavy. And also this receiver here. And this one is pretty heavy as well, so we have it on top. That's why it's a little bit wobbly, but I kept the weight at the bottom. And if you're wondering why there's two spaces missing, because I still need. <laughs> what do I need? <laughs> what do you need? I always need something. Right? PS5 that's coming out? No, man. Amplifiers, guys. Mm. My dad thinks I'm crazy, but guys, we need amplifiers. I'm not running so much wattage, like as much as we need, because these speakers at the front, guys, you guys can see, they need watts. Yeah. I need watts. So I'm planning to get a couple They're hungry. Of amplifiers and stuff so I can run them properly, especially when we get the two 21 inch uh, Server Vega speakers, subwoofers, guys. Those things are gonna be, I think, 2,000 something watt peak mm -hmm. so all my wattage uh speakers i talk about peak like those are 500 watt peakers yeah so they're they want power right right they now want power. whatever they get they're just using and they're like conserving right now i yeah, guess so right i want to send decent power as much as i can and i want to get some um i was looking at some epic anthems or stuff like that i don't even remember all the company amps that they're out there but i was trying to look at some decent ones and stuff so i was probably gonna go with the moran amp. reason we didn't go with it because like i said thirty five hundred dollars and another amp's gonna be another three thousand dollars, so it's just six thousand. This entire shop's gonna be like almost ten grand one day. Yeah, we'll do an update later down Slowly the road. Slowly, yeah. Me the video, and then so let's move over. You know what I mean? Can't, can't miss. Come on, look at this, beautiful. You know what I mean? Shout out to my dad for the real statues out here. You know what I mean? He, 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 he's a real boss. You know what I mean? <laughs> when people are like, have you met the dom? He's the dom. Our projector guys, like I said, budget. Set up everything. We're not 4K right now, but I'm gonna get a 4K projector, right? Yep. For the 4K movies. Let's guys. take a look at it. This is the Panasonic PT AE 8000U right there. So you guys got the full HD right there, and then full HD is right there, and you can show them right there. This is the real 3D. And then here, let me just grab the camera so we can make yep. it quick. Yeah. I can show them the back ports and whatnot too. So we got the three HDMI's, the computer ends and stuff. It's definitely it's a little bit older, it's from 2012, if I'm not wrong. And then on the left side right here is where it has a little bit of adjustments that I can easily adjust quickly. And I use the remote as well. And I got this thing low, low hours, guys. I think we only had 30 hours on it, brand new, right? Yeah. Still saying, person never used it as much, so we got this thing. Because I wanted to be watching movies in 3D, guys. So I'm going to have... Got it? Yo, we I'm love have every bit of this movies, projector, man. I'm going to have it in 3D as well. So that's why I have a couple 3D movies. Like I was saying, if I, where was it? Uh... Right here. Yeah, we have a bunch of 3D movies. Yeah, we have the Drive Angry and then there's a yeah. Lita in 3D and stuff. For real. So we use the Sony PS3 glasses that I have back here. Yeah. Just charge them up and they work in 3D. And guys, I'm telling you, 3D on this projector is outstanding 3D. Now this is one of the best full HD 1080p projectors, guys, with 3D. Like this is not a joke when it comes to projecting, guys. Most of the 4K projectors, I didn't get a 4K projector, is because when they, they downscale to the 1080p, to give it the 1080p and their colors are not as immersed and out there. Yeah, yeah. The color contrast ratio is half a million to one, 2400 lumens and stuff, and they have like their own. You guys just gotta watch the videos on this stuff. I'll be showing you a very YouTube video. This thing was top of the Panasonic line back in the day. Their own like 
facility or whatever in Hollywood and had certain directors and stuff for certain movies and documentaries and they check marked things and made it to their level of things to beat the 7,000 model the previous previous year model and stuff so this thing is a uh, savage guys we wanted this in our old house and we never really did it because my dad we didn't really pull the trigger yeah because we were gonna get a 300 inch screen and I'm not joking a 300 inch screen because we got open to above so like I was saying, with open to above, having a 300 inch screen, that was going to be savage, but it was just spending all the money at the time because the screen was going to cost a couple thousand dollars and then the projector and stuff. And we had, in the open to above in our family room, we had so many windows, guys. Way so too it much was daylight. Not a thing. The daylight was pushing us away. And my dad was like, it doesn't make sense because he wanted to watch his uh, TV in the daylight with the projector. And that's why this kind of never really helped us out. But in, in here... I can watch it with a projector on and everything. And, have and honestly, stuff. even during the daytime, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, let me turn this thing on. Let's like, we thing. have no yeah. issues. I love every bit of this projector. You know? I wouldn't choose a different one if exactly. I had to. I mean, we're going to turn this thing on and we'll get this thing started up for you guys. We'll turn the lights off. I'll put in transformers for you guys. And let's give you guys a quick preview of our sound and everything, right? Sweet. Alright guys, so if you guys can see, this is the 180 inches I'm talking about. Ridiculous. I don't know if I mentioned that, guys. It's huge. Yeah, you want to so, stand there for a second? And this is with the lights on. If you guys can show with the pod lights on, you have watch pod lights on. Yeah. Got the pod lights on. Let's turn this light on. You guys can see it's going to wash all the ones off. Yeah, but in the movie theater, you have the lights, the front lights off at yeah. least, right? Minimum. <laughs> you're blending in the movie too, it's hilarious. It's like you're in the movie. You're full stretch. Yeah, it's a huge screen. I can go full jumping tack here. Full jumping tack here. Oh yeah. Hey, there's some scary shit going on out there. I went to this team, a blaster. Not today. I was sticking to the plan. Whole town is wired to this. Footage of the movie. Colors in here. Turn the lights on too. The top, you guys can see the lights on. Maybe shine look, like me. Look, the lights are on. This is Super Bowl, guys. You know what I mean? That's what I said. I want to have a nice projector with the lights on. Everybody back here can enjoy. Yeah, it's eat sick. your food. You can see everything. And look how and it's so clear. Photo is, guys. It's like just beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> Skip it, get some more scenes, I guess. That's nice. And it's on Rec 709 mode right now, guys. I don't have it on normal, I can make it even more brighter and stuff, too. It's all dark and we have the, some windows open. I'm gonna move all the way to the back of the room. It's all the way at the back. It's 
So definitely is with zooming in, camera does get disoriented and stuff. So we'll show you guys some, some more footage stuff too, right? So we'll turn on, I guess, we'll turn on some Call of Duty Black Ops and we'll show you some footage of some Black Ops as well. So you can see the differences with the Pollux because just how the roof cuts off. The line right there is because the Paul light's shining. It's nice and full screen. Definitely. Right to the roof, rooftop. Yeah, look, my brother right there just sitting there all enjoying and stuff, right? I'm a professional. Yeah. Soldier. I'm going to take So just the fact of playing on this is just so amazing, guys. It's a huge screen. And it's not like it makes it easier to play on either. There's so much more to see as well. But the one benefit is because since me, my brother, we like playing split screen and co-op games. It's nice to have a huge projector, right? Definitely. To make the screen sizes equal for both of us. And one other thing is, we'll give you a hint, right? In other videos, right, guys? We have, we hooked up two Hitachi projectors. And we use our PC and we kind of duplicate the screen and we can run like an extended uh, display. Because if you realize, I painted that entire back wall. Let's give you a quick look with the lights on. I painted the entire back wall all the way up to there. So I didn't really measure how much the entire thing is, but we have the entire thing full. Playing and ship with wide screen. It's really crazy. Whoa. Get some more footage from different angles, guys. This game is so fun. Yeah, and then here's a projector too, working. Doing its thing. It gets fairly warm, doesn't make too much noise. Well, some people do complain like, oh, the projector's too loud or makes so much noise. Never had any issues with that. Yeah, it depends on, I guess, where you place it and how big of a room, right? Like this right now, this is... That's one thing I didn't talk about, guys. This is like full 35 foot deep. So from the screen, this first set of seats is at 16 foot, then the next is at 24, and then 35. So if you, you already know, if you sit at the movie theater, you like sit older at the back, sitting at the 35 foot mark at the very back in the theater here, you just get a real nice view. Yeah, let me hit some lights on and stuff. And then there you go, it just washes out kind of. But it's still not that bad, right? Yeah, we have pollux directly above. Yeah, which are like, you guys beaming. can see. They're beaming directly on the wall. It's still doing a fairly decent job. I can still see. Yeah. It's just I'm not doing too good on that. <laughs> You can see the difference. Huge difference, especially with the lights on and off. But especially with having some ambient lighting around, it's still definitely outstanding of a projector. Yeah, especially since I'm just on the wall, not even a screen. It kind of blows my perspective out, you know what I mean? That you don't really need to have a screen. But definitely, I won't say that if you do have a screen, and having a screen this big, I will probably see some improvements, but I don't think it'll be worth a couple thousand one, spending it. One thing I want to mention, yeah. no lag, it feels fast as hell. Yeah. Like the response time, how some people get gaming monitors and whatnot, Yeah. there's no lag. I can move my analog stick left, right, left, right, right? Yeah, that's one thing my brother's saying. So, so there's no, there's no that, not much millisecond lag, right? Yeah, it's so precise with my analog stick. Especially right. since right now it's on game mode, the projector. Yeah. I you like it in the game. Definitely. Come on. At least you got. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys, so we're having fun. I guess he's having so much, so much fun. Let's show you some more stuff for the projector and we'll end this video off, right? Yep. I guess that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It's time for me and my brother to start playing some COD. We'll probably try out the new zombies and stuff too. We'll see how it works so out. We don't really play games much anymore. Yeah. Busy working, laying pad heels, doing so much work, guys. But it's always fun to catch up. It's always fun to catch up, play games here and there when you get a chance. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Yep. Seeing all the stuff, carnival things. We have set up the popcorn machine, snow cone, and everything, right? Yeah, it was sure. It was really fun. Definitely fun enjoying and making this video too. And make sure you guys stay tuned for all the updates we have as well. We're going to have like... 
A TV we still have to put up there, a TV we put up there. If you see the back wall back there is completely no posters at all. Like I need to have my Goodfellas posters, my original Rambo movie posters and all that stuff put up. You know what I mean? I have my Richie Rich back there and having them put up. So you guys know what I mean? And then a couple more cool things and aspects you still have to do, right? I won't give you guys a full hints, but the seats are not gonna be 100% here. Me and my brother, we wanna make a riser and everything. And let's just stay, we always try to stay two or three steps ahead, right? Yep. So there are a couple more unique aspects in here, like for the Aquaman movie, because my brother's uh, my tech person right here, right? Mm -hmm. So for the Aquaman movie, guys, like I was saying, we just little volume quickly. For the Aquaman movie, we were deciding on how we can make things better and whatnot. So we were interested in buying a bubble machine and having the bubble machine go off with the Raspberry Pi and using technology these days to have it that when he goes underwater, the bubbles start blowing. And like when a plane engine, like Flight of the Phoenix, the plane engine, the plane yeah. trying to crash, yeah. we have this right here. I'll show you guys. I got my heavy duty barrel fan right here that you guys can see. So all these type of things we have working up, we're still working on and everything. That's what these things are sitting here for. And so that barrel fan is something that sits right here on the floor and then we have a bubble machine. Yep. And we have this one, this box right here working. We're gonna be running our lines down for mist and stuff like that too. So there's still so much work to be And on here. this pole, we're probably gonna hook up a rocket or something. Yeah, it's still like a basement like a style pole, yeah. So we're fiberglass tips and everything and make you look like kind of like a NASA thing. But you know, we're Canadian. So we're gonna make our robotic arm, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but straight up, guys, there's still so much more to do. But like I said, we are even planning on like the seats. We saw like on Alibaba.com, they had 40X seats, which were like $16,000. Now that's not budget. No. Yeah, that's not budget at all. That's pricey, but that got me interested. You know what I mean? Now, I don't dream a lot, but that's something to dream for. Because that's not a necessity in life. For real, it'll be really badass. But yeah, those, those are like 18 to 24 seats, which is pretty nice. So we'll, we got the room for it. Because like I was saying, this is a 35 foot full length deep, guys. This right here is 16, and then this is like 24 or something like that. When I measured, and then that's 35 sitting back there, guys. So there's definitely a lot of room here to play with. Me and my brother are gonna do something over here that the, this sofa gets moved and we're gonna have a ramp going up here, a staircase kind of. We're gonna have more seats going and stuff too, like movie theater seats. We'll keep you guys updated. Definitely, there's so many more projects and so many more things to be doing, right? So make sure you guys comment, read, subscribe to Justle Farm guys, because why not guys? This channel is going crazy with so much things going on. I'll drive the tractor through a ring of fire guys once I hit a thousand subscribers and I'm serious. I'll drive the tractor through a ring of fire, right? <laughs> For real, we'll do it, we'll set it up. If I had a thousand subscribers, guys, so you guys are gonna tell your friends, tell family, everybody subscribe, guys, because that John Deere, that thing's waiting, boy, and I'm, hopefully I don't lose my hair. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, read, subscribe guys. And it's time for me to start playing some games, guys. Take care.